Hey, it's Randy from Voices, and in this video we'll cover four tips for removing mouth noises from your recordings. The first three tips are things that you can do in your editing software, and the fourth tip is a bonus tip, something that you can do before you even press record. The first tip is to find your mouth clicks and remove them manually by cutting and replacing that area with clean audio. This method isn't perfect, and it can be quite hard, especially if the mouth sounds are within the middle of a word, but the majority of the time you're gonna find these mouth noises between words right as you're forming a word. Let's listen to this recording here and see if we can find a good example. If you're interested in following along with the rest of this series, please feel free to subscribe. In the next video, in the next video. Now right between our sentences here, you can see a nasty mouth noise. And I could just highlight this and delete it, but you may actually hear that there was a complete cut. So even if I put fades on either side, it may still be a little bit obvious that I put a cut there. Please feel free to subscribe. In the next video, so what I'd rather do is replace that with silence or room tone. So I'll just take some silence from where I've recorded earlier and I'll drop that room tone over the spot, fade it in and out like this. And now here's the sound before. Please feel free to subscribe. In the next video. And here's the sound after. Just in following along with the rest of this series, please feel free to subscribe. In the next video, tip number two is to use a spectral frequency display. For those who may be new to this type of plugin, this shows your time from left to right, just like your normal editor, and it shows the audio content by frequency range on the left axis. So the low orange stuff here, this is all low end, and the blips here on the top end are the higher frequencies. Now, because we know mouth clicks are typically just high frequencies, we can actually just find them up here and simply erase them like this. Here's the before. If you're interested in following along with the rest of this series, please feel free to subscribe. In the next- And here's the after. Of this series, please feel free to subscribe. In the next video, we're going to be covering the audio. This is actually one of the most transparent ways of removing mouth clicks from your audio. It's definitely a little bit more involved. You have to go in and find each one, but it's extremely effective and extremely transparent. The third tip is using a plugin like Isotope's Mouth Declick. You simply can put this plugin on and watch the magic happen. It works almost immediately and with very little action on your end, and it's almost impossible to hear what you're doing until you check this box that says output clicks only. Take a listen to this. Those are all the nasty mouth noises and clicks that this plugin is removing. This is a seriously fantastic tool for voiceover artists. Here's the before. Please feel free to subscribe. In the next video. And here's the after. Please feel free to subscribe. In the next video, we're going to be covering. And tip number four, the final tip is to eat a green apple. I know it sounds a bit gimmicky, but the acidity in a green apple can actually help balance out the acidity in your mouth. And because they're sweet and acidic, it gets the mouth watering, helps your tongue move freely against your teeth and your gums, and it's a simple tool that will work almost immediately to get rid of those pesky mouth sounds, and it's gonna save you a ton of time when you're editing. Now, if you're ready for some more audio tips, I would suggest watching this video next. As always, happy auditioning, and we'll see you in the next one.